racing. What a view comes away well. Sea Sage and Poshki showing up in the early stages with Papa Cool, Papa Cool, and De Treville's pressing on in search of the lead. It's De Treville with Poshki and Sea Sage between them, three abreast as they greet the judges with a lap to go. Papa Cool, Papa Cool's dropping in just off the pace, followed by Cool Green, who's hard up against the rail, and what a view's about sixth, but rather deep on the swing out of the stretch. Soul Driver midfield along the fence, decisive edge splits runners, followed by 2020 Vision, who's ten lengths off the lead and six clear of play hard to get in Finnegan's wake. Into the back stretch and Sea Sage has the lead by half a length de Treville. They race two and a half clear of Posky and Cool Green. Papa Cool, Papa Cool three wide and what of you four wide four lengths off the lead. Soul Driver is next three lengths clear of 2020 Vision, who's racing along the inside at the half-mile pole in company with Decisive Edge, and then comes Finnegan's Wake a long way back with Play Hard to Get. The field covered by 11 lengths, and it's Sea Sage narrowly from Dertreville on the outside as they circle into the far turn, and what of you being let stride now by De Sormo is entering calculations, and they're followed just in behind those runners by Posky at the top of the stretch with Cool Green. Soul Drivers making a fast run round the outside to challenge those leaders. Turning for home, Sea Sage, What a View, and Soul Driver across the track. What a View, De Sormo gets stuck into the favourite, and he kicks away now by a length. It's What a View in front past the 16th pole, increasing his advantage over Soul Driver and 2020 Vision. And What a View, mining a rich vein of form, registers his fourth consecutive victory over 2020 Vision, who grabbed second ahead of Soul Driver. And Here comes a what of you back to the winner's circle. Four wins in succession for this five-year-old Dark Bay or Brown Gelding by Vronsky from Oceans and Mountains. Manila the Dam Messiah. What of you owned by Finish Line Racing, the Elwood Johnston Trust, Berriman et al. is trained by Kenny Black and Kent de Sormo has his third stakes victory of the day. What a view takes the Thunder Road here with Kent DeSormo aboard. Kent, what can you tell me about this horse's progression his last couple of races? Um, coming off the bridle mostly, um, there would be no way in the last month or two, even three races back, where I'd have been able to ride him the way he let me ride him today. Kenny's really, and I have really, he's really starting, I think the horse is starting to figure us out more than the other way around, but he can obviously run, and the time on the track shows you how tough the going was today. He ran a mile and 35 last time, and he stuck his neck out and got a mile and 39 today, so a uh, true champion, heart of a champion getting over the ground. And, you know, there's not much things better than a hat trick except when all three of your wins are stakes wins, topped off by a grade one today. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling like those trainers ought to put me on more horses. <laughs> well, you are a Kentucky Derby winner and a Hall of Famer with a hat trick today. Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. Kent DeSormo takes the Thunder Road here. He also took the grade three Providencia as well as the grade one Santa Anita Derby.